Hi, I'm Tammy from Happy Valley Quilting. I would like to thank you for joining me today in my first ever video blog. I'm starting a series of vlogs about tools and notions that I use in my studio that I think would be helpful to other quilters as well as, you know, as well as myself. I went to Spring Quilt Market this year in Pittsburgh and I found a product that I would like to share with you today. It's called Grip Strips and it's from a company called Guidelines for Quilters. Now, as we all know, one of the problems with quilting is that we as quilters have is that when we use our rulers, especially our longer, like our 24 inch rulers, we have a problem with slipping as you use your rotary cutter. Um, and there are products out that help this. When I bought my first OmniGrid ruler, when I first began quilting, I bought the little sandpaper dots and I stuck them to all four corners and in the center of my ruler. And it helped, but it did not alleviate all that slipping. I also have used products through the years that are also dot-like products that are clear and they adhere the same way that the sandpaper dots do. I think, however, that the grip strips have a distinct advantage over those products, and I'll explain why. The grip strips themselves are 11 and 3 quarters inches long and less than a quarter of an inch wide. So for your typical 24 inch ruler, two grip strips will almost entirely cover the edge of the ruler. This is, this is beneficial in the fact that when you go to rotary cut, instead of having sporadic spots where it is gripping your fabric, the grip strips actually grip the entire cutting edge of the ruler. So as you are rotary cutting, the gripping is along the entire edge. So another, uh, another disadvantage, I would say, to the dots is that when you lay your fabric down and you're lining things up, the dots obscure the fabric and you can't see. Now, that is not a problem with the grip strips. And I'm hoping as we get a closer look at them that you can see this. I'm not going to tell you that they're invisible, but they are extremely clear. And you can see all your markings very clearly, and you can see your fabric very clearly, so you can still line up your fabric because you can see your fabric through the grip strips. And that results in more accurate cutting. The adhesive on the grip strips is also done by 3M which is an incredibly reputable company. It's been around for many, many years. They're repositionable, so you can peel them up and there's no, there's no sticky residue whatsoever. So there is, they are very, very easy to use. I have grip strips on both sides of my 24 inch ruler. I have them on my six inch ruler, and I also have them on my flying geese ruler. And let me give you a demonstration as how easy they are to put on. I just peel them off. Now I only have pieces left because I've been cutting it up and putting on rulers all over the place. But I just peel it off. I lay it down. And let's just say, for example, that this was longer than I wanted it to be. They are very easy to cut. You just take a regular pair of paper scissors, I wouldn't use my, I would not use my cutting shears, but a pair of paper scissors and you can snip them. Now I have this one, it's hanging off the edge a little bit. I'm just going to lift it up. No, no residue. Lift it up. Reposition it. Stick it down. Let me hold it up and see if you can see how clear that is. And if I don't want it on there, I just peel it off and stick it back onto the paper. It's that easy. I'd like to do a little demonstration for you to show you how well it works, because you're probably questioning, how well does it really grip? I'm going to lay this ruler on my table, nothing under it, no fabric or anything. The nice thing is they grip so well that you don't need to add a lot of pressure to it. Um, so if you have limited strength in your hands and arms, you don't have to worry about pressing down very hard on your ruler. So I'm going to put a little, bit, a little bit of pressure on the center of this ruler and I will show you that it is shaking my entire table without slipping. Now, when I was kind of going through and rehearsing this vlog, 
I thought I'd try showing you how that compared to my other ruler with the sandpaper dots. So I tried it, and it shook the table too, but it slipped so much that the sandpaper dots in the ruler let long scuff marks on my table. So consequently, I am not going to do that demonstration for you today because I've already scraped my table once and that's plenty. But the question is, does it grip your fabric very well? Well, let me show you. I am working on a project that needs five and a half inch strips. This fabric, I've already evened the edges up. So let me lay it out here and get everything laid out. I am not saying that you should not walk your fingers up your fabric anymore because that, that is a good way to help ensure your accuracy. But I am, for the sake of demonstration, I am just going to hold the rotary cutter in the center just to show you how well the grip strips work. This is very light pressure in the center of the ruler. And nothing moved. And that's it. That's how easy these are. And like I said, I did not have to use a lot of pressure. So if you're the strength in your hands, if you have arthritis or anything like that, this would definitely help you to keep your ruler in place. One other advantage, one other advantage to the grip strips that I have to mention is that they are made in the USA. So this is a product of the United States. Um, if you have any questions concerning this product, the Grip Strips by Guidelines for Quilting, you can contact me through email at contact at happyvalleyquilting.net. You can see the product and it is available on my website at www.happyvalleyquilting.net. Thanks for joining me today.